Happy Monday everyone, it's Crystal. And this video has absolutely nothing to do with wax, but since I am a lover of all things that smell good, and I've already shared with you my Bath and Body Works collection, I wanted to show you my other favorite, which is Philosophy. If you have not ever tried Philosophy, if you start, you're going to be addicted. I'll just warn you to that right now. Um, so I'm going to give you a little look-see at what I have here. Some of these things I've been using for at least five years. And they are repurchases constantly. And other things I've only been using for a couple years. So forgive the shakiness of this camera because I am holding my iPad. And sometimes it doesn't focus very well. So I'm going to try to explain to you the best that I can. And try to keep this video short. Um... If you're not interested in looking at these, since it's not wax related, I would not hurt my feelings at all if you went ahead and X'd out of it. But if you're curious, just keep watching. So I'm going to walk up to it now. This is not how it's stored. I just have it displayed like this so I can show it to you guys. It is stored in its own little cabinet in my master bedroom closet. Some of the things I leave out that I use every day and the other things are just backups. So let's get started. I'm going to show you first the things that I've used for a very, very, very long time. And they're face-related products. Oops, I'm sorry. So the first thing that I've used for probably about five years is this Purity. It's a one-step facial cleanser, and this stuff is amazing. It is very gentle on the skin. You can put it on your eyes. It removes your eye makeup and everything. And I usually use it at night before bedtime with my Clarisonic, which is not a philosophy product, but is an awesome thing in itself. So it's really good with the Purity Made Simple Cleanser. So if you've never tried it, give it a try. These are all available on QVC. You can also get them on philosophy.com or you can get them on, um, you can get them in Sephora, Ulta, that kind of place. So that's my first thing that I use on my face. And this is just a back one up over here. Oh, so sorry. I keep dropping everything. The next thing I use is this Mucko Delivery Exfoliating Wash, and I use it in the shower in the mornings, and it's just a really fine um, exfoliator, and it makes your skin feel so nice and smooth afterwards. And then my moisturizer of choice is this one, and it's called Take a Deep Breath, and it's, it's an oxygenated moisturizer, and it's very light. It's not oily at all, which is what I like because I do have sensitive skin and too much oil seems to break me out. So that's my moisturizer of choice. Another moisturizer they have is the Hope in a Jar, and that's a very popular one. You see I have not opened this one yet, but it's a little heavy for me. Now if I tend to get really, really dry in the winter, I will use it occasionally, but it's not my go-to one. My go-to one is the actual um, Take a Deep Breath. Then we're going to get into some scents over here, uh, perfumes and lotions. So my first one that I ever tried was back here in the back, and it's Amazing Grace, and I think it's probably Philosophy's signature fragrance. It's very floral-y. <laughs> floral. It's very floral. It's a very nice scent. It smells nice and clean. I have it in the perfume spray, and then I have some body butter underneath it over there. One of my favorite fragrances that I've worn for many years is Pure Grace, and they consider this their soap and water fragrance because it smells like you just stepped out of the shower. Every time I wear it, I get lots of compliments, and I've got several people at work now addicted to this fragrance, and I have tons of it. I have a bottle here. I have two backup bottles. I have body wash. I have lotion. I have body butter. I have this fragrance mist. I have travel sizes. I have everything. Then, I used this for many years, and they came out with some more, and I got to where I really enjoyed this one, which is called Unconditional Love, and this smells so good. This was my husband's favorite one. It smells clean. It smells creamy. It just smells amazing, and now I'm addicted to this one, so I have quite a few things from that. I have a huge body wash in the back. I have a medium body wash. I have the fine mist spray. I have the body butter. I have the cologne. I have the body lotion. 
it's just awesome stuff. Awesome, awesome, awesome. It smells amazing. It's not a real strong scent. It just smells really good. It's the kind of thing when you would pass somebody, you would say, oh, wow, they smell nice. And that's what that is. I have two little, like, purse sizes. Awesome. Then over here, I just have some random things. I have this Hope is Not Enough. And it's just it's like a like a firming gel that you can use, like, under your eyes and things. Then over here is called Hope in a Tube, and that's an eye firming cream, or it's a lip firming cream. Put it around your lips for, like, wrinkles and that kind of thing. Then down here are just little um, Philosophy lip glosses. I actually picked these up at Big Lotch, which I was really surprised to find them, and I got three of those. This I also got at Big Lotch, and it was it's... um. It's called Heavenly Light, and it's like an illuminator. It's really nice. It makes your skin sort of glowy. So this is just a look at some of my philosophy products. Since I am a scent girl, I love everything scented. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick look-see at it. If you haven't tried philosophy, give them a try. They can be pricey, but like I said, if you go on QVC, they do have deals on them. Um, in philosophy, if you register online, they will send coupons for 20 or 30% off. But my most definite things that I never do without is my Purity Facial Cleanser and my Micro Delivery Exfoliating Wash and my Take a Deep Breath. And right now, my favorite is the Unconditional Love scent. So, this is my philosophy collection. And I will do a little tour of the little cabinet I keep it in my closet in the master bedroom. I'll do that later. But this is my little collection. I hope you all enjoyed it. And if you haven't tried any of it, give it a try. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. So you guys have a rest, a lovely, lovely rest of this Monday. See you later. Bye-bye.